Hey, it's the Clockwork Mage and this broadcast spell is live. Today, I am going to be doing a tutorial on how to use repeaters and some ideas behind repeaters that you can use in your redstone world. I think that pretty much wraps up this intro and let's get right into it. Okay, I have some stuff set up here on how and what to do with repeaters. But first, uh, let's figure out how to make a repeater. So when you go into the crafting bench, it is three stone, one redstone and two redstone torches which gives you the repeater pretty simple now repeaters the main use of them is to extend a redstone signal so for example if i go up here as you can see this is not lit but when i place a repeater down it now reaches that and will extend the signal renewing it completely for another 15 redstone blocks Okay, now, another thing about a repeater. You can send signal through it one way, but the signal won't go back the other way. It's very good from stopping signal going all the way back to its origin depending on the circuit that you're trying to run. Another really cool thing about this is if you put a repeater on the side, power it, it now locks the repeater. You cannot send signal through the front at all anymore, but Another really cool thing is once you unlock it and then lock it again, it doesn't matter if you turn this off, it'll keep having signal pass through it even while it's locked. The lock means that it's locked in the state that it was put into lock in, if that makes any sense at all. Here, let's try rephrasing that. No matter what state the repeater is in, when it's locked, it stays in that state. There we go, that's a much better way of explaining it. <laughs> and obviously when you unlock it, it goes back to normal. Now. Tick speed is a really interesting thing. What you can do with it is you can determine how fast the signal will go through the repeater uh, or how slow. So using this, we can make a redstone clock. So this will turn off and on infinitely. Now tick speed can change in many different ways. So there's one tick speed, so it's only one tick to go through, two, three, and four, and then it resets. You can alter this by right clicking on the repeater itself. Now, because of this, you can make an extension, so it'll take a really long time to turn on something. So when I click that, it'll take that long to get there. Every tick is a 20th of a second. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20. So it takes one second for this to turn on. Something really cool with repeaters is you can actually power a block and that block will still output a redstone signal. So for example, when I do this, a redstone signal will come out the back of the block. And even if I put it on the side, it'll still be coming out of the block. Same with on top. A cool machine that people use is with a repeater, you can make a one tick pulse, which will make sticky pistons release the block that they're holding onto. See, this is a sticky piston. It should have held onto it when it pulled back. But since this machine sets up a one tick pulse, it allows it to let go. And when I activate it again, it'll pull the block back in. A nice simple machine that you can add into your circuits or anything like that and make it so that a sticky piston can actually let go of its block. That's basically everything. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any more questions, leave them down in the comments below. I will make sure to reply to you. Thank you all for showing up. Don't forget to join my Discord and my Twitch. Both links are in the description below. And thank you so much.